Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Barnon 11970, and um, I want to show you guys something. Um, I was really thinking about what was going on um, in my personal life with other people, and it made me almost want to leave YouTube. And I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing, but this whole um, Sandy shooting, with the more things I'm learning and the more things that I'm showing, uh, I can't stay silent on this, and I hope you can't either. Now, whether people want to believe it or not, there are evil people in this world who are corrupted by money, power, and the hiding behind religions. They use tactics of fear to control people. And they create terroristic kind of situations to get the people to be on their side when there is an agenda that wants to be created. Whether you believe in this or not is irrelevant. I'm going to show you some proof among other people um, that show these things. Now, there's an old saying, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Well, the problem is, we the general people, you and I who are watching this, are those eggs. And they are not afraid to crack those eggs open to create their omelet. Now, they have to do this in stages. And they've been doing this since World War II, when the United Nations was created immediately after the war was over. Why do they do thing in sta things in stages? Well, because of the fact, if you do everything too quickly, people pay attention to it, and they react. So, for example, if I was a person who had $20 million in my bank account, and you wanted to steal it, well, if you took all $20 million, I would know, and I would go and search you out and find you. But if you take a couple of thousand dollars here and there, it will probably go unnoticed. So by the time they even realize they were robbed, it's pretty much the majority of what you needed is already gone. And you get away primarily pretty much scot-free. That's what powers that be do. They introduce law after law to get you used to certain things until their agenda is created. Now, what is the agenda here? Well, whether you want to believe it or not, it's disarming the nation. It's gun control. Now, why is that a big thing? The reason being is, when you disarm a nation, you can control it a lot easier. Now, most people will say that's silly, because in this time and age, we're supposed to be civilized. Well, when the United States of America Corporation uses drones to kill millions of people, and they've already um, established over one million civilian deaths since 9-11 from U.S. drone attacks, it shouldn't be all about just one race being saved. It should be about the world. But when you talk about gun control, for example, Hitler took away the guns from his citizens in the protection of the people and ultimately killed millions of people. As a matter of fact, if you look at the history of several different countries that disarmed the public to protect them, there were more innocent civilians slaughtered in their own country by their own governments than probably most wars combined, and these are things you could research. So, if you think we're civilized, that's the illusion, and the illusion of freedom and the illusion of security. Now, most people will say, for example, with these recent tragedies, and I'm going to show you some proof about the lies that they're being exposed. I've already posted some videos on my Facebook, which most people won't pay attention to, because they have this illusion that if they don't do or say anything, nothing will happen to them. Well, we look at 9-11, we look at the Fast and Furious. If you don't know what that is, I recommend you look it up. You look at the Batman shooting, and now the Sandy Hook. Now, I'm just going to check the time on this. I want to make sure, because this has to be under 20 minutes. Um, they went from 9-11, which created the Patriot Act, which ultimately created the National Defense Authorization Act, the spying of American people and imprisoning people without any kind of real probable, anything more than even probable cause, and can arrest the United States citizens uh, without habeas corpus, which is your right to fair trial, indefinitely. Um, they killed thousands of people for that agenda. Fast and Furious, they were selling guns, which they were actually caught. And if you look up um, Eric Holder, he was supposed to be on trial for it, but our president pardoned him and said he didn't have to uh, face any trial. But they sold guns to the Mexican drug cartels with the sole purpose of using those guns against American citizens to create gun control. 
That didn't work. They got caught. You don't hear about it because the mainstream media is bought and paid for and they don't tell what their uh, brothers and sisters, so to speak, are doing because they're in it together. 97% um, of the media that you watch, read, and hear is owned by seven corporations. Okay, so we go from that to the Batman shooting, which opened up, um, I forget the opening day, but that one lone gunman came in and killed a bunch of people. Now, it's a tragedy, and I feel bad for all the families, but the ultimate goal was to create a gun laws, or gun laws. Didn't happen the way they wanted. So here's the next stage. They decided to um, kill innocent children. And uh, most people are going to be angry by what they're hearing here. And if you're going to get angry at the people who are trying to share the truth with you, then I feel sorry for you because you know what? You're aiding abiding terrorists by not doing anything. And I am an American patriot. I am an American citizen. I am also a human being, and I care about all people, not just white people or American people. I care about the entire world and all its people. So when you do nothing or you make fun of the people who try and spread truth, you allow the criminals to continue to do what they do. And that's kill people until the people cry out to be saved. Now, most people will argue, well, they're not taking away our gun rights. They are just taking, like, for example, automatic weapons or semi-automatic weapons. Why do we need those? Well, the whole purpose of the Second Amendment was not just for hunting. It was actually to pro the American citizens to actually protect themselves against the tyrannical government. So once you disarm the people, the government can do whatever pretty much it wants. Now, does that mean or guarantee that's what they're going to do? Obviously, I don't know that. But if you think you're going to be safe by them banning guns or even diminishing, diminishing our ability, let me just plug this in because the battery's going to die. You are sadly mistaken. So, sorry about that. Got to keep this plugged in. So, with that being said, sorry about that. With that being said, there is an illusion of security. Now, how do I know that? Well, if they pass gun laws and gun bans, they are going to do nothing but disarm the lawful abiding citizens. Criminals can always get guns. And let me give you a prime example of the full sense of security. If anybody studies history, they will know in the 1930s we had a thing called Prohibition, which was actually an amendment to the Constitution, making alcohol illegal. Well, let's see what that created. Not only did it not stop people from drinking, it created parts of the Mafia, it created a lot of killing, a lot of gangs, and a lot of destruction, to the point where they actually had to amend that Constitution and allow the U.S. citizens their ability to drink. Um, ever hear of a drug war? Lots of drugs are illegal. How many out there can make a phone call to a friend and get anything they want? I pretty much can do that. I just don't choose to do drugs because I have better things to do with my life than to waste them away being stoned out of my mind. I'd rather research things and learn things. They cannot even get drugs and alcohol out of prisons. So when you disarm the public, all you're doing is, is stopping the average citizen the ability to defend themselves, which means the criminals, who can always get anything illegal they want, will be the only people armed, along with the government. Now, we're not saying they will become tyrannical, but what if they could? Hitler sure did. Plenty of other people that have history have done it. Now, there is a connection between the Batman movie, the Batman killer, and her the Hurricane... Oh, maybe even Hurricane Sandy. People will... And I'm saying about the Batman movie with Sandy Hook. Because I'm about to show you something. And um, I want to make sure you research these things, because people were putting around a map in the Batman movie, that shows, in circle, Sandy Hook. Now, I'm going to show it to you. because It's going to be a little blurry, but I paused it, because I took the movie on Netflix. Okay. Now, as you see, The Dark Knight Rises. I rented this movie on Netflix. Now, this is the famous scene you will see in the videos. Now, unfortunately, it's very blurry. But if you look, and it's circled in the movie, that... Sandy Hook. There was more than one gunsman, gunman. You ever hear of a thing called the Patsy? Well, it sure happened to um, a certain executioner, quote-unquote, of John F. Kennedy. There was a Patsy there. So if you see some of the videos I posted and other people have posted, because I put them on the Facebook and no one wants to pay attention to them, you will see that the police were actually changing, um, chasing two other suspects. 
caught both of them, including the person who supposedly killed himself and supposedly was the lone gunman. Now, the problem is, back in the 60s or earlier, they can easily cover up stuff. But nowadays, instant media, you can get it anywhere. People have DVRs. People have the ability to record. People can actually verify things and check them. So they can erase it, and the media can lie to you by saying there's a, gu a single gunman. And they can also lie to you by saying that the teacher, um, well, the, the mother of that killer was a teacher there. Also a lie. Now, here's the thing. You can call people like me and others crazy and do nothing and allow these people to continue to kill people, and it might hit you, who knows, but uh, what do they do next? They have a lone gunman, quote-unquote, go into a hospital and kill a baby ward? Because what they do is, it's, um, it's a creation, reaction, solution. Uh, it's a problem, reaction, solution. It's where they create a problem, they get the people to crave a solution, um, uh, they, they react to it, I'm sorry, and then they, those same people that cause the problem create a solution. So, coincidence that Sandy Hook just happens to be in the Batman movie, which also had the lone gunman come and kill all those people in the Batman premiere opening day. And uh, you'll see other people with maps about this, and they'll show that the road maps and everything are exactly the same as Sandy Hook School. You want to think that's a coincidence? That's very fine. You want to call somebody like me a conspiracy theorist? That's absolutely fine, and that's your opinion, and I can't save you. But if you're going to all sit there after you watch this and do nothing and don't cry any outrage, then you are aiding and abetting terrorists. And unfortunately, they are the people that run our country. Now, can I prove that? Absolutely not. I'm basing it on the fact that I'm an American citizen with the right of free speech, which means I can give my opinion on things. So could this be absolutely a coincidence? That's absolutely true. Here's another funny coincidence that they can't prove, and obviously I can't prove, but there's another situation going around that the father of the Batman killer and the father of the killer of the Sandy Hook shootings were both supposed to be going on trial for bank fraud in the LIBOR scandal. You might want to Google that, LIBOR scandal. They're supposed to be um, testifying in a trial in London. Kind of a coincidence, don't you think? So, you can watch this and think it's crazy, you can watch it and do nothing, or you can stand up and say, you know what, it's time we put an end to this, because I'm putting my uh, risk on the line, because I'm not afraid, because for every person they try and suicide or disappear or anything, there are going to be 50 other people putting it out daily. That's why if you look on YouTube now with all these things, they can't stop it, and that's where we have the advantage of anyone else in civilized society throughout our history, is the fact that we can record what they try and hide. So they can hide all the evidence. The media can stop printing all that the original footage of the child admitting there was a second shooter and the cops chasing down the shooters. They can hide that stuff from you. And if you're foolish enough to believe whatever you're told, well, then you're one of the sheep, aren't you? And sheep are led to slaughter. So I'm tired of being insulted. I'm tired of being attacked. You want proof? There it is. Make your own judgments. But if nobody actually stands up and actually says something, then do not complain when somebody else or a whole bunch of other people have to die, because that's what they do. They want these gun laws passed, and they don't mind breaking a couple of eggs to make their omelet. So what you do from here is up to you. I ask you guys to at least question things. Be civilized like you all say you are. Do something instead of making fun of people like myself and others who are just trying to get the truth out there. If you don't believe this is possible, like I said, the Dark Knight Rises... It is at 158.42 into the movie. You can look right there and pause it yourself. Unfortunately, like I said, it's a, it's a shot that it's hard to see. But that's Sandy Hooks. Uh, Sandy Hook. And if you look at the other YouTube videos out there, they show the map a lot clearer. And they actually show the road extremely similar to Sandy Hook School. What you do with this information is up to you. I hope you share it, and I hope you get angry as hell. And stop getting angry at the people trying to help you. Get angry at the ones who are willing to kill your children and your family to create their agenda. You don't think it can happen? Welcome to the real world. Peace.